for today's video, I wanted to play around with the Tarte Raincourse of the Sea Volume 2 palette. I recently got this in a BoxyCharm, and one of you guys let me know that you wanted to see me play around with it in a video. So I decided to do a more cool toned look because in my BoxyCharm video, I focused on more of the browny gold shades. So I wanted to focus on more of the bluey, purpley shades, which are my kind of colors in this video. And this is the look that I came up with. And uh, I don't really like it, but I think I'm gonna post it anyway. I wanted to play around with sort of a smoky looking liner kind of thing. I also decided to show you guys two different lip options solely because I could not decide on which one I preferred. This is one of them. The other one is a little bit more of a nudie kind of color. This look is also perfect for fall. I love fall. I'm really excited. This video is also a full face video. I know you guys like to see my foundation routine in videos, so I included it for you. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm starting off by priming my lids. Of course, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer, and then I'm gonna dip into the palette and grab the shade Conch and use that to set down that primer that I just put down. Now I'm grabbing just a little bit of the shade Marina and I'm going to sort of buff this in my crease just to bring a little bit of warmth to the look so that hopefully it doesn't look like I got punched in the face. Now I'm taking Siren on a more defined crease brush and I'm gonna add that to the crease as well. Again, very, very lightly. Now I'm taking the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Seashells. I'm gonna put this all over my lid just so that my lid shade has something to stick to. Speaking of which, I'm taking Breezy on a flat shader brush and placing that all over the lid. And then I went back in with a crease brush just to sort of blend out all those edges. Now I'm grabbing the shade Pearl and highlighting my brow bone with that. And then I'll go in with my crease brush once again to blend out the crease into the brow bone highlight. Now I'm just grabbing some scotch tape. I recommend using the kind of tape that's meant for your face and not scotch tape. And I'm just angling this up towards the tail of my brow and I'm gonna use the shade Riptide as sort of a winged liner. I'm sort of being rather haphazard with it at first using a flat angled eye brush and then I'll use sort of a fluffier pencil brush to blend out the edges so that I can really get that smoky look. Then I'm taking the Maybelline Blackest Black Gel Eyeliner and I'm gonna place that along my lash line as well just to create a little bit more definition. Once again, I'm sort of blending out the top of the eyeliner if that makes sense. And now I am praying that this turns out all right and pulling the tape off to reveal a rather sharp stinking wing. It turned out quite a bit longer than the other side so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a makeup wipe and sort of angle off the edge a little bit more. Now moving on to the face, I am priming using my Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. This is the primer that makes my foundation last the absolute longest out of any primer I've ever tried. For concealer, I'm grabbing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory, using that to sort of lightly spot conceal at first, and then I will go in with my foundation, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 110 Porcelain. And I'm just using a damp Real Technique sponge to stipple that all over my face. Highlighting the under eyes, of course, with my Tarte Shape Tape. What else is new? You guys, I'm starting to run out. I like need to purchase a new one quickly. And then to set all that, I am using RCMA No Color Powder, but of course, some things never change. I'm also using that same powder to set the rest of my face, and then I will go in with the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination in the shade Light, just to add a bit more coverage. Now I'm moving back onto the eyes and I just used the shade Pearl to highlight my inner corner. Then for some reason I decided that I wanted to finish the face up. So I'm bronzing up my skin using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Another thing that I am almost out of. And for blush, I'm using one by Studio Makeup. I got this in a BoxyCharm and I am using the shade Sahara. Now 
Now for highlights, I am dipping into my Physicians Formula Natural Nude Highlighter. Basically all of the light shades, it's sort of split down the middle between light and dark. And I'm using all the light shades. I keep trying to love this highlight. I really, I really don't know if I like it. I think it pulls rather ashy on me because of how stinking pale I am. So I went ahead and added another one on top. This is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Radiant Lights. Now for brows, I'm just combing through them using my CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Shape and Define. This is the shade Rich Brown. I absolutely love this stuff. It gives me a nice bold brow without having to take a zillion steps to do it. To set my face, I'm using the ColourPop Aquamarine Setting Spray. This is part of the Crystal Collection and this is me spraying setting spray on my face. I have to do that with this particular setting spray because oh my gosh, it's a super soaker. It soaks my face, soaks it. But I really do like the way it smells and I like the way that it sets in my makeup. For mascara, I'm using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, of course. Then to finish up the eyes, I'm grabbing the shade Marina once again on a flat shader brush by e.l.f. and I'm gonna buff that on my lower lash line. It got a little bit more intense than I was planning on it getting, but then I just took a crease brush to sort of blend out any harsh edges and popped on a layer of mascara on my lower lashes. Now for the two different lip options. The first one is Urban Decay Comfort Matte Lipstick in the shade 1993. It's such a beautiful sort of cool tone brown. It looks a bit more warm on camera. I love this lip option. I think it looks super vampy and fallish. And now for the second lip option, it's a bit more nude. This is the Marc Jacobs Lamarck lipstick in the shade Slow Burn. And that's everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine. And I will see you guys next time.